I am the captain of my soul. A deeply moving sci-fi comedy drama, written and directed by Sophie Barthes, Cold Souls is a good counter to the notion that there are no longer any new ideas in storytelling. Paul Giamatti plays a fictionalized version of himself, who is rehearsing for the Chekhov play Uncle Vanya. Deeply depressed and overly affected by his role, he turns to a soul extraction business to relieve the emotional pressure in his life. But when his life and acting start to go downhill, Paul tries out someone else's soul and then must travel to St. Petersburg after his own soul gets tangled in the soul trafficking industry. Cold Souls has touching, poignant drama and exceedingly creative world-building. I love the ideas at play here. People talk of losing your soul through acts of evil or, according to island superstition, having your picture taken, but Dr. Flintstein's, David Strathairn, soul storage clinic turns loss of soul into a sleek, efficient business, advertising peace and lightness of mind through soul removal. Cold Souls illustrates the individuality of every human being through the fact that every soul comes out looking different. Paul's soul, he is dismayed to find, looks exactly like a chickpea. As soon as a profitable service emerges, it's only logical that black market and other illicit avenues will emerge to capitalize on it. Even so, the idea of soul mules, people like Nina, Dina Corzun, who routinely make themselves soulless to transport other souls for sale, is a brilliant concept with some emotionally devastating implications. In addition to the film's soul extraction business and its corrupt offshoots, Barth's direction toys with other methods of soul loss. At least twice, Nina is shown being checked at the airport, which involves a fingerprint scan and a photograph. This simple act of identity registration, according to the aforementioned superstition, symbolizes the literal soul removal she experiences just as often at the clinics. If photographs steal the subject's soul, then what about the art class we briefly see? Does depiction, rather than straight photographic reproduction, also trap the soul, or does the imperfect nature of artistic representation prevent soul theft? The film further makes you wonder about the soul and its relation to cinema, as the camera captures a small snippet of an actor's living, breathing, conscious existence, doesn't film take and distill a little of the actor's soul? Cold Souls is a film that derives its suspense superbly from nothing more than acting and ideas. Paul Giamatti is riveting as this caricature of himself, demonstrating astounding malleability in the part. Paul is listless, anxious, and unenthused for the future, and the ease with which he channels this despair into tremendous acting is scary to him. When he has his soul removed, Paul enacts a subtle yet profound change. Soulless Paul is unsubtle in his acting, can no longer be intimate with his wife, and lacks empathy. It's like a trade-off between empty and differently empty. As the film progresses, Paul flawlessly conveys his character's strong need to feel less, then, once soulless, his need to feel again, and then, having rented a Russian poet's soul, his need to feel the way he does, not the way anyone else does. Giamatti's performance is a tour de force of shifting personae and subtlety. Dina Corzun as Nina is generally sad and meek, likely due to her current soullessness, but is also brave in a cautious, prudent way. She and Giamatti form a moving bond as people united by similar circumstances, as Nina has gone through soul removal many times, and she is helping Paul reclaim his soul. As you learn more about soul extraction, you are also driven to consider who she really is, in the sense of what animates her. Nina is very likely soulless, making her more easily controllable in her job, yet she still has humor and compassion in her. Is this slight personality the 5% of her original soul regrowing into a full one, or is it manifesting from the many fragments of the souls she's delivered, bits and residue accumulating into something like a spare parts soul? Nina could be parts of dozens of people or no one at all, which is a tragic yet fascinating idea. David Strathairn is a wise and patient figure who gradually, almost imperceptibly, grows frazzled as Paul's case gets out of hand. I loved Cold Souls. It's a deeply affecting film with complex, staggering performances and genius concepts at its core. Cold Souls earns five stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.